Day one on the Weatherford lot. Time to start clearing. Property line is from roughly that fence post all the way to this foam pole, which is roughly 300, 300 foot wide. And then it goes uh, about 1700 feet straight back this fence line or this uh power line that's where we got to get started working on getting all this brush trees bushes cleared out of here so here's the property line down the one side and you can see how how thick and covered it is walk across the front of it here Pretty much covered all the way all the way across 300 acres or 300 uh, foot wide of the front of it going across it here it's, so it's there's no pass there's no trails in any of this tree brush to get back any further it's it's covered it's pretty thick covered the only way to get back is all the way over here to the um this is the west side of the property where there already is a, a fence line on so this fence line runs back the full i believe the full distance of the property which is like i said roughly 1700 foot um i gotta get some land cleared first make verify it runs all the way back but take you for a walk all the way back so this is the only way to get back any distance on the property is hugging this fence line so my first project's gonna be starting to wide this this walkway right here where we can get get back in and out of here a little bit easier Get all the way to the back of the property and verify that the fence runs all the way all the way the length of the the lot from my understanding it runs all the way all the way back this side and it runs all the way across the back 300 300 foot width of the back but then i don't think there's any other fence on the um east side of the property and there's definitely no fence up front or no fence that i have found yet So here's here, one little creek during heavy rain. There's water pools up on the other side of this fence line. This pasture over here, this culvert coming through. Comes out this little creek stream right here. Earlier in the spring, it was uh, had flowing water in there, but now that we're getting to the dry part of the season, you can see it's already pretty dry. So back to walking up along this fence line. We can get back as far as we can. So as you can see, this is how thick, how heavy it's wooded and brushed. I'm thinking from all the aerial footage, I can see the whole property is covered that thick. So it's not gonna be fun. These little trees right in here. Now I have to guess, I think this post right here is about halfway back on the on the fence line. So roughly 850 foot back so far from the street. We can go about another two, two, 300 foot back before we start hitting heavy brush. So there's no telling what kind of animals we're gonna find back here. Hopefully no rattlesnakes, but I wouldn't be surprised if we run into them. Wouldn't be surprised to see some pigs, all kinds of other animals. Hopefully no uh, coyotes, they should be smart enough to stay away, but so here's some thicker brush to gotta clear a little bit. You can keep going.
it's gonna be a lot of stuff to clear not gonna be fun not gonna be fun we're still walking the fence line here some thicker brush about getting as far back as we can walk at this point Now we're starting to slope downhill a little bit. It's getting deeper and deeper, but then it... I don't know how much farther we can get back here. There's really no clear paths going across it anywhere. So far, or yet, I should say. Property line. And this is about it. Hard to see through there. I'm not sure what all what all's down the path, but just about as far back. Like I said, I think we're about 1,300 foot back on the west side of the lot. So I think uh, this total depth over here is uh, almost 1,800 foot. So I think we got another four or five hundred feet to go farther back before we hit the back of it and then start cutting across 300 foot to the other border then get that the far border cleared out so we can get it fenced in so it's day one's challenge gonna be a whole lot of fun here's the conclusion of the summary at the end of day one Conclusion is those little goats don't stand a chance of knocking down anything other than grass. You see the little slime right here. Where I knock down some small, small, long, tall grass. It doesn't really cut it; just kind of folds it down. I guess it kind of that goat does kind of does all right on that. But looking over here, it's starting to get into some thicker stuff. I run it down this line right here. You can start to see here's where it's starting to clear it's really not uh not clearing much more than just uh knock it over and a little saplings that thick was that half inch stuff like that it'll somewhat chop it up more just push it down and it had problems with anything much bigger than that Keep coming through here. You can kind of see the path it made trying to follow this fence right here. It's hard to see, but there's a wire right here for trying to follow this fence line. You can see the path. This is a couple paths wide couple passes wide because that thing's only 26 inches wide, but stuff like this. A little stuff like that, yeah, it'll, it'll knock it down. It turns it into like this. Doesn't really cut it up, kind of just pushes it down. But it's definitely got its limits. Starting to get back into some thicker stuff like this. It's really having a problem. So even stuff like this, there's some, uh, I'd say up to one inch thick. The main piece right there is probably two and a half inches thick. It won't even come close to doing anything on that, but some of these one inch thick pieces, if it's old dried wood, it'll somewhat push it down, but not when it's covered this, this dense. It, uh, it don't want any part of that. So like I said, long story short, if you got tall grass, or I, got, I would say anything a half inch thick or thinner, those little goats will do an all right job on them. Yeah, and even all right, I won't even say a good job because it doesn't really cut it or do much to it. It just kind of knocks it, pushes it over. So if that's what you're looking for, I guess it's the tool for you, but I don't know. I don't know what kind of circumstances that'd be good to have. If I want it pushed over, I want it chopped up too. So you can kind of see some little paths I cut through here with it. but. So the grass again it doesn't really cut anything 
It's kind of pushes it over. This property's got little cactus on it and it'll chop those up pretty good, but it doesn't take much to do that. See some more cactus that's knocking up. So here's where I first started trying to knock down some some smaller brush around this tree. So you can see, I guess it kind of does an all right job with that. It doesn't really knock it down though. I mean, it doesn't really cut it, just more than so it knocks it down. I mean, I don't know that a normal push behind mower would, would do just about the same. I guess push behind mower being direct drive, you probably kill the engine if you hit something thick, but that's the only thing that helps that little goat is it's belt driven. So when it hits something hard, it'll just, the belt will, belt will, sli belt will slide. So that's about the best of that billy goat will do. Little brush, little stuff like this was all around the base of the tree. And you kind of see where it trimmed around that. But look back to where I said over there, anything over a half inch thick or thicker, is, it won't even push it down. And it doesn't really cut much more than just more than pushes it over. So... I guess it was a long shot going after uh, this big of a lot with uh, a billy goat. That's definitely not what that's intended to. I was hoping I'd get by with it, but that was a big no.